thank you for giving me this opportunity to work. And it has been a wonderful experience because I nano ekshetra ke bandaga etsa or the entrally, idu awaga thane Bangalore ke seth kundi dene. Otherwise, this was not part of Bangalore. So many of you do not know. This whole area of our whole constituency was not part of Bangalore till 2008. Only in 2008, Bangalore Corporation has existed since the, probably the time of Britishers. But we became part of Bangalore only uh, in 2008. So, we were still in We were still Gram Panchayat. We were in the village Panchayat. He spoke, his area was in the village Panchayat. And the entire Chokanali many apartments have come. They were all in the village panchayat. The Srirampura apartments, it was all village panchayat. So Rachinali, all of them were in the Gram Panchayat area. So directly by an order of the government, it was made part of BPMP. So there was no infrastructure when I came to this constituency. I mean, there were no roads, there was no sanitary facilities, there was no Kaveri water, there was no pipelines. The lighting facility available back then were some few in the incandescent bulbs hanging here and there. So that was the situation. And uh, we inherited uh, a, a challenging situation when we first came in. Then back then the population was also much less, about three and a half lakh. Now it has grown to 10 lakh. And a lot of migrant population also keeps coming and there's a lot of transition. So, but in the last uh, 15 years, we have managed to provide underground drainage, that is the sanitary facility, to most part of our constituency in the urban area. Not everywhere, but most. We have managed to provide Kaveri water to about 70% of our constituency in the last 10-15 years. And we have managed to develop most of the arterial roads, the approach roads. And of course they get worn out, but we have been trying to keep bring them back into shape. And uh, in the same time, installation of lights and other civic amenities, development of parks, the development of lakes in our constituency. Some of the best lakes in Bengaluru or in our constituency and we have not stopped there we are still improving on those lakes we are working I mean to improve the water quality in those lakes that takes seven eight years because we have to identify where the sewage is leaking into the open drains and do the underground drainage in the locality somewhere upstream and bring all that sewage into an STP, build a new STP, treat it and then release the water into the lake. That's a five, six year project. But we are not, I mean, undaunted by the timeline, we are doing that. So in the lakes that we have developed, now we are focusing on how to plug sewage coming into those lakes and how to set up STPs. We have upgraded the STP facility in Jakur uh, Lake increase the capacity uh, from the 10 to now uh, 15 MLD. We are building a new 10 MLD STP in Rachanandi Lake so that the sewage can be diverted into the STP and only treated water enters the lake. That is a 5-6 year effort. Uh, these things do not happen. And uh, you know, uh, 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 we are building another STP near Kogilu so that the sewage that is flowing into Jakuru can be captured at the source, which is at the higher end, higher level. And there, once the sewage is treated, then it can flow in the open drain. So, lakes we have developed in the urban area and rural area. And as Raju mentioned, we have taken the treated sewage of Bengaluru, treated to secondary level. And we have pumped that water into lakes in the rural part of our constituency. And uh, as a result, those lakes are now perennially full throughout the year and overflowing too. Mind you, these lakes were not full for the previous 20 to 30 years. They were they had not gotten filled up in 20 to 30 years. Now those here lakes are full throughout the year. 
water table which had dropped to about water table which had dropped to about 1500 feet has now come up to about 500 feet in in during the last two two and a half years uh, open wells which had gone dry 20 years ago are now full of water open wells dead bore wells have come back to life so these are i mean the kind of uh, this project that we have done of using Bangalore's treated wastewater and filling up the lake. Now it is actually a global model because the President of the United Nations General Assembly came to India. One day he went, he landed in Delhi, he met the Prime Minister and the only other engagement he had in the whole of India was to visit a lake in Kolar to see this project under which the lake was filled up. <laughs>